You might be wondering where is this button in Copilot in Excel and you need to activate and install Copilot in Excel and it's how I'm going to show you in this video. You might want also to click on one button in Excel and get all these beautiful charts and pivot tables in just a few seconds and this is doable with Copilot in Excel. So without further ado, I will show you how. So we'll head over to this website right here which is a Microsoft Copilot. I'll put the link in the description and basically you will head over to plans here and to have Copilot in Excel you will need to pay but don't worry I have a workaround for you if you just want to try it for a few minutes and see what it can do in the tool. So first you have the personal version. What does Microsoft Copilot Pro means? It means that it, you have uh, your individual email so not a business email and you can actually try copilot pro for one month for free at the time of recording this video and then you have to pay 20 us dollar or 27 canadian dollars per month to keep having this button in excel right here that i just showed you earlier but what if you are using a business email so if you want copilot for your old company then you're gonna head over to business or enterprise, this is the same price, and you're going to need Microsoft 365 Copilot, which actually unlocks Copilot into Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, Teams, and other features that I won't talk about in this video. And it's going to cost you 30 US per month or 40 Canadian dollars. Just a disclaimer here though, if you are in the personal version, you can pay by month, but if you're using the business version, you need to pay annually. So yeah, you need to have an annual commitment. Then you're gonna buy it you're just going to uh, buy a license just like your microsoft 365 e3 or e5 licenses keep in mind it is a complete distant license doesn't mean you have microsoft 365 that you have copilot integrated into it it's an additional cost then you're going to click here on get microsoft 365 you're going to fill your credit card information you scroll down and then you add copilot to your microsoft plan basically and uh, you click here and then it brings you back to all of this. Anyways, I'll let you check that. And then when you get into Excel, as soon as you install it, you might not see the button yet. So you need to do one more thing. You need to go to File, and then into Account, and then you will click here at Update License. It is going to update your license. You need to sign in into your Microsoft 365 account. Make sure you're using the same account that you bought the license for. And then you're going to go back into Excel. And this beautiful button here will appear. And you will have lots of different options in Excel. I have a lot of videos on my channel on how to use Copilot in Excel. So I will put them on the screen right here. Feel free to have a look at them. And I also made this cheat sheet right here downloadable for free, the Microsoft Copilot cheat sheet that was downloaded by more than 1,000 people. And I'll see you in another video. Cheers.